Yo, what's up guys? It's Sandy, and I'm back with another monotone commentary. <laughs> but this video is going to be very different than the ones that I normally post. Because the point of this video is to try to help you guys, I don't know, I guess have fun playing Call of Duty. Because if you're like me, the game got very tiring very quickly. There's no way around it. It's more of the same. It's the same game as the previous ones, in my opinion, even worse. But that doesn't mean you can't still have fun playing a video game. That's what it is overall. It's just a video game. So the first thing I would like to bring up, like in this video, which by the way is full of failures, me dying quite a bit, you have to take into account I'm a normal person just like all your other favorite uploaders, normal people. We die all the time. Every time I turn a corner, there's about an 80% chance I'm going to get hip fire sprayed. But that's the game. You have to know that randomness is gonna happen. No matter how good you are or how good you think you are, you're gonna get sprayed down by a striker from 20 feet away before you even shoot him. It's just how it works. But the first thing I want to bring up is choosing your team in the game. If you notice, in almost all my videos, I'm either playing solo, which is not that fun, or playing in a team of no more than two other people because when when you play with a team that's full like this is a kill confirmed game type if you play with six people you're just gonna steamroll everyone and you're gonna make people quit out that leads to hosts dropping it's just not fun you're gonna have people changing to classes just to piss you off putting on that striker class or those FMG9 troll guns which by the way when I put that video out that suggested to use them, I had no clue that they were as good as they are. So that's my fault. But choosing a team of about two to three people is the way to go. Because in this video you'll see it comes down to the wire. You'll, I'm not gonna spoil the ending but it gets close and you're never gonna find a game as close as this if you're playing with six people against a bunch of random people just joining a public match. It's never gonna happen. And the most fun in this game that you'll ever have is a close, is a really close call. There's no way around it. And besides that, like, I know a lot of people get really mad at this game. Or any, any video game. You have to take a step back and realize you're playing a video game. You shouldn't be getting mad, you're supposed to be having fun. Just start changing that rage into laughter if you can, even if it's a sarcastic laugh. It doesn't help to get mad at the game. You'll never do good. Trust me. The more mad you get, the more angry you get, the worse you'll do. Then you start changing your class, start choosing other guns. You know what? Make a class, choose it based on the map and game type, and just stick with it. Don't change your class. Because every time you change a class, you never do better. You do worse. It's just how it works. And... What I like to do personally, or anyone else that's over 21 and enjoys a nice beer, drink it. I don't... I try not to play this game too much, a couple days a week, and I'll, I'll get a six pack of something good, and you know, for me, I calm down when I'm drinking. I'm already super calm, as you know. You probably fell asleep by now, but it, it helps me relax a bit. So, have a couple good beers. Go for it. None of that cheap stuff. None of that Coors Light. Get a good beer. It's worth it. And of course, that last tip was optional. Especially if you're a rager when you drink. Or if you're underage. I don't condone underage drinking. Not that I didn't do it. Come on. But, of course, very optional. I enjoy it. Maybe you do too. But, another thing I'd like to bring up is your gun setup. See, people rage when they die by guns, often, like certain guns. Recently I came back to the game and started playing and I noticed a lot of people are using that striker. There's no question about it, that thing is a rape factory. So what did I do? Oh, and do you know what? Not just the striker, but things like claymores and IMSs and bouncing beddies they're pretty damn annoying. There's no way around it. So what did I do? I made a class specifically to take down strikers, 
and deal with the stupid bouncing betties and claymores. So I made the MP7, or you could use a PP90, whatever, submachine gun, whatever one you like. You gotta have rapid fire on it because that's the only way you could counter that shotgun just annihilating everyone. You have to take them down quickly. The rest of the perks are up to you, except for Stalker. I love Stalker because that delays Stalker Pro. That delays the tr the detection of like claymores and bouncing betties and all that. And what you'll find in this class is you don't die from those annoying things, and you're taking down all those annoying striker guys. So that's just my opinion. If you're having trouble with a certain class, counter it. Make your own specifically to counter that class. Then you don't have to complain about it anymore, because now you're killing them. So it's up to you guys. Hopefully you enjoy the video, maybe you listen to some of these tips. This is just how I have fun playing the game. It might not work for you guys, but hopefully it does. I'll see you guys later.